Well, I love how we spoke about money health, and now we want to focus on the kitchen and bring you a recipe that you don't need to think twice about. It's going to be that delicious and easy. Is bring the family, 100%. Your cousin's coming over. Get the crush and I'll get the ice. The whole family. More crush, Mom? 100% refreshing, 100% goodness. Made with love by Clover. Now, if you're on a diet, a keto one to be exact, and are craving, you know, one of those big juicy burgers with a bun, why don't you try our chaffle burger that is 100% keto friendly. Now it is a low carb, so it's easy to put together. It is a real 100% craving. And here to help us is Chef Tabo Pake, who's joining us. And he's got the cutest accent. <laughs> now you have to say good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning to everybody. Um, yeah, uh, super excited actually to be here today, doing something really healthy, something really, you know, uh, vibey, but also very simple. Okay. And clean and quick and easy as well. Uh, we like clean, quick and easy easy and this yeah, is a chaffle which I have never heard about. I, I can only imagine it has to do something with a waffle. Yeah so chaffle waffle goes along together uh, so basically it's just uh, very low carbs um, egg based and then we've also got some protein as well going again uh, with a patty uh, very quick and easy uh, with a waffle maker or toaster okay uh, can so actually go well we have the waffle maker yeah. hot and ready you're gonna make the eggy bits what are yes. you gonna put together there for us so basically we've got some eggs over here just four eggs we've got some black pepper some white um, garlic powder we've got some salt as well we've got some cheese too you know it has to be creamy flavorful and then basically we're just going to whisk all of this up so you start off with the cheese inside there we go so chef while you are making this we need to unpack where this accent's coming from i'm so we, so we are making a burger so i'll start chopping up our tomato but but where where's that accent it's a combination of all the different places you've lived and worked um yeah i think also just uh upbringing as well you know uh, growing up I uh, went to a uh, large school I went to a word school as well <laughs> and then also my mom was never around at home you know so um, just basically cartoons people think it's really funny but by the time I was learning how to speak it's just always cartoons white friends and all these things and I think it really worked out for me Did you watch CBBS uh, not really CBBS because <laughs> uh, my generation super young I'm 24 so yeah, you're probably just wondering all the cartoons I've been watching. Um, but yeah, I think it really worked out for me in today's day and age. Uh, I speak what I think I do. Now you do! And it's the smile as well, <laughs> you know. Uh, it, it Very charming. It makes everything charming. work out. Yeah. Um, so you've added, was it onion powder or garlic powder? So it's uh, garlic powder. Garlic. Isn't that just amazing? I, I discovered garlic powder the other day as well as yeah. onion powder and it just really packs a punch and flavour to a lot of recipes. I don't know why I've always been shy of using that ingredient. You know, I think, I think it does literally because people tend to forget to build flavour from the bottom, you know, mm. basics. You know, these are basic key things when you're cooking. Build flavour from the bottom as at all times, you know. Um, so we're going to whisk this up and then... Pop it into our waffle maker. Pop it in to our waffle maker. It's nice and hot. It's already been greased. Yes. I'm going to pour us a little bit of our Clover Crush 100%. We're going for the mango flavour today. Perfect. Okay. Get just a bit of that in as well. Just be generous with it. Of course, it is eggy base, so... Eggy base, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I actually like the slices of tomatoes. You know, I super hate it when... It's just big pieces of tomato, and it just doesn't make sense. Uh, but yeah, I like those slices. OK, yeah. OK, because I thought they were quite big. Normally, you know, people go a little bit... Of, but I, there's just yeah. something about a tomato. It needs to be slightly chunky for slightly me. Slightly chunky, yeah. So when this comes out of the waffle maker, this is what our little jaffle yeah. top and bottom will look like. So when it comes out, it just looks like that. Uh, and basically, we then want to assemble it just like a burger. We build our burger. Build our burger, okay. So we're going to start off over here. Got the proper chef technique, even the way you hold yeah, you the knife. Yeah, you need to, you can't just, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> just, it's just over there. there. Yeah, you know, you need to have the movement. The finesse. The finesse, you know. <laughs> and then just glaze it over there. We've got there a little bit of cream cheese. Cream cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go over with our lettuce. 
I wasn't sure if I had to cut it, but it looked quite a decent size. Yeah, no. The bigger, the better. And then we're going to go with tomato over there. And then we've got two patties over here with our burger. I don't know. Are we going to people... double up? Yeah, I think let's double up. <laughs> let's go for it. Why not? Um, I like pickles on top. You know, a lot of people put them on the bottom. But for me, I think eating experience is very, very important. You know, I can't be having... If, you, if I'm going to be eating a burger, I want pickles on top, acidity. I want uh, the tomatoes on the bottom, creaminess. I want everything just to be a vibe, you know, everything working out together. See, that's 100%. That is incredible. I love that. You know, there's just something that a pickle adds, that little bit of a crunchiness. Yeah. But also, like, I think at first you're like, ooh, what is this? Exactly. And then you realise, ah, oh, it's the pickle. I think it's just a pop on top. And then, yeah, so assemble it like that. A bad boy, and then... There we yeah. go. Well, if you want to get your it. hands on this chaffle burger that Chef Tabo's just showed us how to make, it is available on our website. Chef, I'm going to hand you that. Well done. Perfect. That was 100%. <laughs> and, of course, your clover crush, um, you can serve that with it and it will really just be the perfect pair with any meal or snack. It is completely refreshing. Crush with it 100%. It is fruity, tasty goodness in every single sip. And you can also make your chaffle burger using beef or chicken. We went for beef today. Or even you can make a vegetarian version. Maybe use some mushroom or tofu if you feel like doing that. But, of course, a lot of fun options for you to play around with with your chaffle burger. That recipe is available for you on our website, expressoshow.com. Made with love by Clover.